Hello and welcome to another episode of Factorio and we are going to start this episode by doing some reclamation here. So my idea at the moment we are producing a significant amount of power in our uh, nuclear, this tiny little nuclear system. So what I'm going to be doing is removing at least this set of solar. Um, to make space for uh, our artillery train yard so I'm gonna make a blueprint planner to remove make sure I remove just certain things so in the beginning I just want to remove those items I want to leave basically leave all the power poles and the uh, robo ports to assist in removing all of these and then we'll remove that other stuff afterwards okay so there we go and that will be the start and we'll just let the system do its thing and they will basically put the stuff back into storage there should be plenty of it if not we'll sort that out yeah so while that's busy we're going to just have a look and maybe come do some manual clearing so we're going to come over there and we need to leave our construction bot somewhere. Oh, he's already been left behind. Oh well. <laughs> okay, you guys are filled up, so you are going to come do some work. So let us get you started. And you're going to come sort out all these little nests. I want you to clear them out, please. Okay, we'll make a start with those. And then we'll probably come down to deal with these ones. And we can watch the chaos. In so this will probably free up a lot of attack. We can actually have a look. Let's take a look at our uh, pollution map. So I mean, we it was actually just this base. I mean, all of these guys are not going to attack us anytime soon. But we are going to need to make a decision soon for our mega base build. What are we going to utilize the areas for? And what is the best method of building out our blueprints um, and trains in an attempt to minimize the, uh, how do we say, congestion on the rail network? We don't want too many things cramped together. Uh, the f some of the first things we're going to construct are our iron ore fields and copper fields and to smelting. So that will be to iron plate smelting and copper smelting. And from there we move on to probably green circuits would be our first mega build. Yeah everything needed to to do that uh, we'll use the factorio calculator um, to assist in how many of what we're going to do and then we've got to figure out how we're going to build it and how we're going to position them 
So a lot of that positioning will be based on resources that we have around. I mean, we got some really good iron ore patches, copper patches, all in here. So we're quite happy for the mining to happen all together. And then we ship it off elsewhere. You know, there's huge patches down here. We will most likely keep some of the things pretty central. Um, I think the module building will happen centrally. Um, we will most likely convert an area like this uh, into large nuclear farms. I don't know how big we can push those. Uh, ideally, you want to keep the... Um, you want as many reactors together as you can get to get the heat bonuses um, but you also want to keep the water coming in as close to um, your heat exchangers as possible so we'll have to figure some of that out even if we have to train training water in is probably never a good idea um, unless you can come up with a very robust system or dropping off large amounts of water um, I think the easiest is to actually build it right on the water's edge where you can suck it straight in so I like this build another one would be to rotate all of those um, so the water, so if we just made a copy of this, so something like that, and the water basically goes directly in the top, and you can then build that on the bottom section. But I like this, this is the set out, I think it will limit to what we can do, I mean I can't really get more water further down uh, you do start having we can experiment um, I had a, a suggestion where what I need to do is just give a little bit more space here and basically creates two two heat pipe lanes along um, it gives a bit of a, a temperature boost to the lower or the furthest away heat exchangers I mean, these first ones are sitting at just short of a thousand Celsius, and the end ones are 750. I mean, they are functional. I mean, we could always um, experiment with extending these. I don't think I can go too far this way. Um, take these further and basically keep going until we hit those minimums. Uh, we will most likely have to uh, inject water in over here for this to keep going. Uh, if we have a look at the pipe, I mean, there is water at the end here. So it's something we experiment. Probably won't touch this one too much. Um, the second one we build, we can have a look at that. Okay, so let's see. You guys have done some nice clearing I think is that a something 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 we're definitely low on ammo but it's okay so let us head back to here and let's see how this is done this is done very well okay I'm going to delete you now we're going to pick up the rest of the items Okay, from there to here, all the way to there. Okay, all of you need to be picked up. Okay, where is my number two? You can come in here. And these guys, they can help pick up.
do need to keep an eye on these these things. Uh, yeah, that one's filling up, which is good. This one doesn't fill up. Oh, okay, it looks like there's stuff to pick up, but this is full. Okay. And we can assist here. Well, we probably do. We have to assist because without the robo ports, none of this can get actually picked up. Okay, that's where I walked in. Okay, map mode will tell us if we've got everything. Let's just go have a look at what's going on down here. Because so I can see it's wanting to pick, do stuff, but it's full. Which is a bit strange. I don't know what it would be full of. Hey, uh -huh. I need you guys. No, you're not full. So what's going on? At least those are old uh, pieces. They're still not being picked up. Okay, I can manually pick up the stuff. one I mean this one if we look here that looks all normal okay so the, we've cleared up that space that's going to be for artillery and we are still we want to bring in some form of artillery base here now I don't know I don't have any of those outposts anymore. I don't have any of those fancy blueprints. It's just weird extras. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is for when I was doing test builds. It's basically an anything provider. Um it's literally that it you build that in a test mode you plop down a blueprint and this will auto request everything that needs to be built and it just goes see so this is some of the stuff i've got this is actually some of the stuff i've been playing around with um I'm not going to be using these, I don't think. Uh, if we have a look at them. This is just a method I was fooling around with. Um, basically, it's a belted um, system. And they they are terrible as uh, as far as my experience is concerned um, I definitely did battle doing belted array or <clears throat> mega base stuff so we, we'll stick to bots I think in, at least in this playthrough okay well, something I did spot we, we need to watch our oil fields they are running relatively low um, Very low. So we need to keep an eye on that. We do have another one nearby. Um, 
if we will transition to. Okay, we don't need you anymore. Did I just delete trees? Yes. That's what I wanted to delete. I don't actually need those outposts anymore. They serve their purpose. And pick it all up, and you can do the same thing for this one. And that one. So this wall, I don't think we'll expand it. We can probably put some artillery down here. And clean out some of this bottom stuff. Might be a good idea. Uh... So we can actually see over here we've got some range growth from our research. We can see what's harding further afield. Oops. Okay. That's going to hit some of these faces. I don't know if any of those guys are going to come. Okay, so there's, there's a bit of an outcropping there. Uh, and here we can actually take these out. Now that we have the range, we might as well clear it. And the same thing with these ones. So we, yeah, let's, we'll transition into, should we attempt to build, I know we can get probably fine blueprints for artillery train stuff, or we can, I can try, build it all out ourselves. Uh, I know some of them, at the end, they do that weird S structure. Um, we'll see what I can do. Okay, that should take care of a couple of those. We'll leave that for now. Okay, while you are busy, this is where we're going to build our military train. I'm actually going to come off of this line here. So let's do that over there here. Actually, we probably should do that before. Okay, uh, let's put a chain signal there and you let's go there. Engine to engine to four. Actually, it's probably far too close. Yeah, I'm actually happier with that. I learned that some bit. Much better. Okay, chain four. And you are going to go in that direction. So we're going to build our station right underneath here. Okay. Spidey, you can get there. Then we're going to figure out this train. Ok. 
Okay. Now, I know we can't... This train is complicated. Um, I wonder if we're actually making the correct rail. Uh, not rail. Carriage. Let's see. Uh, let's hold... Well, let's only hold four. Okay, well, we're out of range, so that's probably why it's not picking that up. How we get... Okay, these placeholders are just... Uh, just that. Not necessarily where we're going to put them. Hey, Spidey, I need you here. Let's take you higher up so you can actually sit within the right zones. And let's put, let's start. Right. Okay, these do tend to be fairly long trains. Uh, so we can put an engine over here. Okay, let's see. Am I picking up these carriages? No. I might not even be building, making them. So let's have a look. What does it take to produce produce one of these things? All of that. Okay, I'm gonna have a quick squiz. Let's see. So we do have this system here. This is just making normal, normal ones. You know what? Okay, so if we want to make that, what do I need? Steel, check. Gears, check. Red, check. Engines and pipes. Okay, so let's see how can we get. Okay, we do this. There we go. So we got engines and pipes. We're gonna have to build that a little closer. Then we can use this one there to grab the concrete some red circuits and we can use that to grab that okay um, we can give blue a bit of a boost but that's yeah going very slow to do it this way around look we're not going to make a heck of a heck of a lot of these uh, let's see, how could we possibly speed that up? Well, one way is to build it there. So we're going to build that there instead. This is going to do jumpy, jump a do. Okay. So we'll do something like this. Power is in the wrong place. It's going to cause us a problem. Yeah, so then we're going to grab that. Okay, let's just take you guys off. Take you out. Okay. So it should grab engines a lot faster, pipes a lot faster. Um, it's grabbing the red, and so the only thing it's struggling with is it's actually struggling with the engines, getting enough engines in. 
And then we're going to spit it out over there for us, please. And we don't need an army of them. Let's keep it down to, what do we say, eight? Eight is fine. Yeah, but this poor thing is not keeping up. So what's this? Engines. Yeah, let's upgrade to those three factories. Okay, can we put, what modules can we fit in these factories? Okay, productivity modules, so we're going to do that, productivity modules in you. We are going to, oh, I'm already got them somewhere. Okay. That doesn't reach. Cool. Uh, we, of course, we've got power problems. We can't get power to all of those things. So let's see. We squeeze in one of you. And one of you. That's perfect. And of course, we don't have enough modules. Yeah, we'll just allocate modules. that is there we we do have a stash of engines here it is in a provider chest um, what we could do here to assist we could do a request uh, request engines Fifty, yeah, okay. How many does it need at a time? Sixty-four. Yeah, so these you hold sixty-four at a time. At least two places are making engines, and we will eventually get some of those carriages. Cool. So let's head back this way. Okay, so in the meantime, we are getting some. I am going to use other cars. Okay, let's just take that out. Okay, so we're going to do, do that. These trains are exceptionally heavy. So hopefully this works. Okay, and we'll put a blockage there. And put that a bit straight there. And we do another one of these right in front. So of course our trains now need fuel. And should we experiment here with rocket fuel? Because considering trains can take uh, rocket fuel. And eventually we can convert that to nuclear fuel if we get that far. Okay. It doesn't look... Uh, might just be Robofort issues. Yeah, we will build this train, I think, a little closer. Okay, so now we need... Sure, we... My idea, I'm thinking requester chests for the ammo, but we're so close, we can actually belt it in 
get it filled up that way. But we also want them providing stuff higher up, so this might just be easier to do it this way. Okay, and we're going to do one of you, and now you are going to be requesting this stuff. Forty-eight, because that is one full thing. Okay, you all will be doing that. Oh, and you know what? I do not want it to go into those cars. So let's just watch. We don't add, activate the power. Okay, how many of these? Do I have okay what we can do start replacing some of the cars well we could probably take all the cars out now uh, and they can be put as placeholders Yeah, so that's a short train. And let's get you hooked up. Okay, we do have that exit tied up there. That's cool. And now we need to get our train back in. Then we're gonna take it down. Well, let's just find the best place to get it back in first. Uh, let's see. There, that looks like a good spot. I can take that out. And that out because they have the connections and let's set this up and get it hooked in yeah these are long trains so i'm not worried about if there's only ever going to be one of them on that track. Okay, let's give it some power now. And let's hook it up to the robo ports. Okay, they are getting rocket fuel, which is good. Not a lot. Where would we be? I know we are asking for rocket fuel up right here, and we can put it into a provider chest. That way we can get some of it. Okay, so that's the easier part.
Uh, we can try use this inside. Now, I have no idea how to build this S. So we're going to be coming in, say there. And we're going to come out on the top. So it's something like... Um, I know it's an in, and you're basically doing a loop on yourself. Because uh, you basically want it as tight as possible. Can't remember if it doubles. Doubles on itself. Yeah, goes around. Uh, that's that just looks like a teardrop oh boy this is gonna be fun um let's have a look i don't know how you do this short hand. Uh, see if the workshop can help me here quickly So we are looking for artillery train setup. It's a weird S S design. Um, in my head, I vaguely know, I mean, I know what it looks like, but I, for the life of me, I have no idea how to go about even getting it built out. And then we we have to defend it too. We're gonna to have to build walls and all sorts around it. Or we'll just eventually build our own little S completely. You basically want to curl that train up. So it occupies, one, a minimum amount of space, but two, by doing that, you keep all your guns um, in a more or less small shape. Uh, and that helps with, when you're targeting that, you don't leave half your guys behind. That's not helping me. Okay, okay, let's see. So the idea... You gotta come in and then you're basically wanting to go out again. What's the sharpest circle I can make? Let's just get this turned the right way. And then it'll be this. And then we're going to want to land back up on its ourself here. Yeah, something like that. But Okay, uh, 
And then this does the sharp S again. Something like this. Is this looking right? Need anyone's design approvals? <laughs> So it's going to come in. It's not really doing much of a curl. It's that whole stupid teardrop I was thinking on this side. So we come in around park. So you would have a station marker there. So it's going to come in sit in that little S there and then leave. Okay, we're going to take that out. Because it's going to come in we're going to keep our, let's just get a copy of our rail distance. Yeah, come on. So we know where the in and out is going to be. Okay, so it's going to come in, park, yeah, and then leave in that direction. Uh, let's see, it should fit in there, and basically this will be a walled, a walled off area around it. Now that does look a lot smaller than what I've built before, but I don't have a <laughs> memory of that. Okay, so what else are we going to need in here? We're going to build, we're going to need a robo port. We're going to need power within it. Uh, no, not those ones. These look, these big guys. Because power is going to come in from there. On the outside world. And then we're going to build a defensive wall around this. Uh, it'll be quite difficult to get fuel in here. We might be relying on laser only. At least for our initial build, I think. Okay, so lasers. Uh, can we actually get some power at least in here? I might be able to see where. Okay, we can build quite far out, but we're not going to. We're going to build them quite, quite thick. Uh, and we've got to just watch the power. Okay, so we've got to get... Okay, that's as far as that can be built. And 
Alright, let's get these things in. in. No. Ah, it's better just do poppy stuff. Oh, come on. No, go away. Let's just grab our actual wall and get that situated. I'm not worried about the Um, Robo port there, as long as the race gets in. Um, so we want corners. Yeah, but we also want to keep this as narrow as we can. That was making the walls super fat. No, wrong corner. Let's go. Oh, come on, why aren't they lining up now? I designed the stuff. be a bit close there to do the top because you want you want the base completely surrounded um, so this wall would have to go somewhere there Never mind losing some of the stuff. Okay, we let's go put I need that. Let's copy this. Rotate it. And let's see where we get the best position. That looks like it. Okay, I'm going to put that there. And let's get some power. Come on, all the way across. And there's power in the middle. Okay, let's take you out. Yeah, I'm not giving my guys power there, dude. Yeah, and then we'll fill this ourselves. No, 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 no. <laughs> Leaving a little gap there. Got to fit. Fits better to me, at least. Uh, I can always improve this in a future build. Okay. It's double stack. Then, well, oh, come on, Spider, why do you walk skew like that?
Okay, that is attempt one at a little outpost. So let us just grab a template of that quickly. We're definitely going to want to make improvements to that. And then we got to remove this lovely little bulb. Uh, ideally, we'll do the maths. We'll go put this down somewhere because we actually need a... Ideally, this purple spider to carry basically everything. All of that that's needed to build that out. definitely need to improve that design but this is a good start okay so let us give this station a name so this will be uh, Oh boy, here comes the useless spelling. Do we have all the cars in yet? Yes, we do. Cool. Yeah, so this will be artillery base. Okay. Right, come on. To the base. Then I'm just going to do that quickly. Artillery outpost. Out so you train, you will be always going from there to there. Full cargo, empty cargo. No timing. It's that's how we're gonna have it. We've got the fuel. Okay, so I'm gonna set that to auto. But I am gonna take that out now. And we have just remembered to give that name to the station we build. Okay, so this is got a long way to go to full up. Uh, that is building. So where are we going to give this a test run? I think that's got to be it over there. We will replace the circle with our outpost where did we leave our number two uh, he is trailing now the trains aren't going to come yet it's either until we give the station a day will give us a chance to get the math set up for this guy. Come on. Okay, so we're going to take off the end. Here we come. Okay, please. Lop off the end of this base. Right there. Uh, military. Uh, we've just put it over there. So here, we're going to line that up. Okay, 
right there. And it doesn't put its gates, so it's probably not important for now. Bolt out. So one, the train's only going to be called once the station's name gets updated. And what am I... Oh, we are really out of out of time. I need to plan this out better. Um, and yeah, I think I'll see you in the next episode where we'll see if we can't build this a better base over here. So catch you in the next one.